Welcome class 5 in your EVS classes. This is a revision class and we have taken lots of revisions in our textbook. So today I will take the revision class of your activity book and we will revise as you people are not here. So I will revise all the answers from the activity book so you can remind it in your brain and you can give the answers. Okay. So first one fill in the blanks with the correct word. First question some dash can hear even the faintest sound. So you can write bat uh, some animals can hear even the faintest sound. So uh, here it is given some uh, because there are not only one animal there are so many animals are there like horse are there elephants are there so bat is there so they can hear the faintest sound. So we cannot write the name of a animal we have to write the some animals can hear the faintest sound. Now the second question dogs can make out if another dash has come into the area by the smell of its urine. So the second answer what is dog can make out if another dog has come into their area by the smell of its urine. So that is the second answer. Third one is dash can find out us by the smell of our body. Who can find out? Mosquitoes can find out with the smell of our body. Now different animals have dash power. What the power different animals have? Different animals have different sensing power. Now, animal dash with each other in their own language. So, animals can communicate well with each other. So, how they communicate? They have maybe they are having their own language. Maybe they, some gestures are there. Maybe they have some different kinds of call and they can communicate. They, they have also some have warning calls. So, they communicate their messages to the other animals. Okay. Now, <coughs> Dash cannot see many colors like us. So, um, nocturnal animals cannot see many colors like us or you can say animals cannot see many colors like us. Because we know only the nocturnal animals are there who see only the black and white colors. Whereas few animals are there who can see the different kinds of color but these colors are actually faded colors. They cannot see all the shades of color colors like us okay now the next question animals respond differently when dash approaches them so what approaches them when a danger approaches them so different animals re respond differently few animals become more furious they become in attacking mood uh, mood to attack the um, danger dangerous things or to the, to avoid the danger some uh, animals become fearful so their responses are different okay now we will go for the true or false statement write true for the true statement and the false for the false statement so the first statement is given here animals can see hear smell taste and feel so it's true because just like us all animals have all five senses so they can also feel they can also listen they can also hear sight these all senses they have okay now next statement is given here and ants move they leave some food on the ground is it true no they never uh, just spell and they never felt any kind of the food item on the uh, surface of the um, surface or on the floor what they leave they leave a smell isn't it and the other ants follow the same path so this is a what kind of a statement this is a false statement now the third statement is given, given here, smells can be good or bad as per others perception. So it is good, no? It is a correct statement and you have to write the true. Why? Because we know uh, maybe one smell is good for me but another person do not like that smell. So it is a true statement and we can say it depends on the different person's perception. Uh, any kind of smell is good or bad for uh, us or not understood now we will go for the next statement birds have to turn their eyes to see around is it true no it's not true because birds have fixed eyes and they cannot move their eyes so they have to oftenly they have to move their neck from side to side 
to listen the thing, uh, to um, just see the things are all around. So it is a uh, false statement. Now we will go for the next uh, next statement. Animals have their own language to communicate with each other. So it is a true thing because they all have a different kinds of uh, sounds. They make different kinds of sound. They have different kind of language to communicate their messages from one over to their group or one uh, one person of their uh, or one uh, member of their herd to another member. Okay, and if we'll go for the Sixth statement that is different animals have similar similar sleeping time. So you have seen we have saw one cycle where every unit was uh, just donating two hours, isn't it? And there were in a time cycle and in a time um, I mean circle there were given only twelve units and each unit donates for a two hours. That's why it is making the twenty four hours and we have seen. Few uh, kinds of animals are there who sleeps only two hours, whereas cow, buffaloes they sleep four hours, and the python and the sloth they sleep eighteen hours, seventeen to eighteen hours. So their sleeping and waking times are different from one animal to another animal. So it is a false statement. Understood? Now <clears throat> we will move for the. short questions we will revise only two more questions in the short question what do ants leave behind when they move ants leave a smell on the ground and rest of the ants follow the smell to find the path so i'll repeat the answer ants leave a smell on the ground and rest of the ants follow the smell to find the path so that is the way they are uh, just spreading the smell on the ground now next question why do birds move their neck so often as we know most of the birds or all the birds have the fixed eyes so they cannot move their head so they cannot move their eyes to see the things all around uh, just like us so what they do they oftenly move their head from side to side to see the things whatever they are all around so that's all for today in my next class i will take the another questions and onwards monday we will start our new chapter till that goodbye stay at your home